My name is Sebastian Fulrider and I'm working in the Jens service. I'll take you on a walk around of the BA-96. This is our all-rounder for high-speed shredding and chipping in biomass, wastewood and the agrar sector. This professional machine comes in with a total weight of 22 tons and a transport length of just slightly above 10 meters, which takes no license into account for traveling on the road. Behind me, we got the towed version of the machine. We also have a Tiger version with the truck drive underneath, and we got stationary machine. To ensure an easy feeding with different loading vehicles, we have a tipping height on the infeed of roughly two meters. The infeed total length is 4 meter 25 in standard. And if you've got a lot of brushy material or long material, you can have the additional front flap which is increasing the total length to five meters. Here you see the infeed of the BA-9-6. We have an infeed width of 1,500 millimeters and the infeed height of 900 millimeters. This is realized by the bottom feed conveyor, the robust steel link conveyor, and the upper feed roller. The upper feed roller can be adjusted in the compaction pressure for different aggressivity. For example, for soft materials, you don't need a high compaction pressure or even for brush materials, you need a higher compaction pressure to be aggressive and effectively feeding the machine. The speed adjustment is independent from the upper feed roller to the bottom feed conveyor to create situations where you have a lead of the top feed roller to mill material down. Another thing is we got the GFA assistant function. That's the grinder feed assistant that is reacting on a dropping rotor speed. It is starting to reduce the feeding speed down to get the most efficiency out of the engine by loading it up to the highest torque point. Another option you can see here right on the top, these are water spraying nozzles which are reducing dust in materials like waste wood for example. And now we are on the left side of the infeed where the, a blue tank with 57 liter capacity is located and the fuel tank with 550 liter capacity is located. This is the standard tank. You can extend it by another 250 liters, so up to 800 liters. That tank is then on the right-hand side of the infeed. Here we are on the right-hand side of the infeed, where you have here the place for the additional fuel tank and even additional place for spears like knives or even wedges. The easy to touch display, the easy to connect remote system and the hotkey buttons are part of the easy to control unit. On the hotkey buttons, you can easily start the engine, even if you wear some gloves, by a push on the button and you can engage the rotor and you can activate the working mode easily. On the display itself, it is possible that you adjust three different modes. You can see here M1 is active and this is the changeover button for M1, M2, M3. It's every time skipping on. And you can see when you skip through that some parameters are changing. For example, here M1 is made is adjusted for chipping. Uh, so you can adjust anything here and it's directly stored. The easy to connect remote system has four levels which can be swapped easily by one push on a button. And each of these level has eight functions possible to be set with the function. Another thing is the operator information system here, right in the center. It is showing us we are in Modi 2 and we need to refill the fuel tank. At your additional information, like for example the screen size, you can use the sticker here in the side door. The upper and lower feed roller are feeding the material to the rotor, which is cutting with the tools the material down to the counter knife. And then the material is guided through the chip guiding pen and gets separated at the screen in the back. Here we are in the maintenance area behind the rotor. This is the rotor in the heavy duty design. We got a diameter of 1040 millimeters. You can use fixed or flying hammers. The fixed hammers, easy protect, we will talk on later. Below the rotor, you see the chip guiding pen. That's the closed pan. 
and that one can be swapped for a bottom screen plate. So to increase, for example, in wastewood, a bigger open surface to separate quicker the material. The material will then drop on the leakage conveyor, which collects the material and transfer it to the discharge conveyor. Here you see our Easy Protect tool, and in combination with the Easy Cover, we have a total weight of roughly 2.8 tons on the drum, which is quite effectively and creating a smooth run. This tool has the possibility to adjust the pre-grip from 25 to 33 up to 40 millimeters. In the case that a foreign object enters the machine and gets in contact with the knife, so got a damage on the knife, it will crack off the shear bolts of the protect head. And in the same time, it activates the IPS system, impact protection system, what is indicating a high vibration on the counter knife. And then comes a reaction that we reverse the in-feed, lift up the upper feed roller, drive down to idle with the whole machine, disengage the rotor and stop the discharge conveyor. This combination can save money in the moment when it's needed. From here you can swap the screens. The screens are fixed by three bolts on the top. Take them off and then you can fold out the uh, screen element itself and replace it for the other one. This style is a diamond style. We got stride bronze, we got rectangle ones and we got uh, the chipper technology as well for the shredder m screen for g50 with a uh, straight lamella and then we got the xl screen for g100 with a folded lamella the range of different sizes and different um, designs of screens is huge so we can easily react on nearly every material Up here we are in the engine compartment. You can choose between a OM471 with 12.8 liter displacement and 530 horsepower, or the big brother, the OM473 with the 15.6 liter displacement and 625 horsepower. This engine is driving the PTO, so power takeoff to the left hand side of the machine and is then driving the rotor via the belt clutch. Here you see our main drive. In this case, it's the twin gear drive. This is only available for the BA926. Even if we have two belt drives, so one in addition to the standard one, we keep the 255 for the road permission. We have for chipping gear 430 RPM on the rotor shaft, and we end up for in the shredding gear with 950 RPM. As an extra option, you can get the beat mode. This is reducing the RPM down to 250 minimum for um, processing sugar beets, for example, to make big noise chips from sugar beets. These belt drives are engaged or disengaged by hydraulic cylinders. So when the engine is started, nothing is engaged so the engine is running free without the turning rotor. That makes it possible that you could use the motor to create your air pressure for changing, for example, screens or knives on the rotor. Here we are on our discharge unit that is split into two sections. One time the leakage conveyor and the discharge conveyor. The leakage conveyor collects the material from the rotor unit and transports it on the discharge conveyor. Where the cleats of the chevron style belt sp spill the material in a thin layer on the transport width of the conveyor from 1500 millimeters. Here we are really in the back of the machine where the material tips over from the discharge conveyor on the trailer or on the pile. And we have here this green magnet head roller that is separating metal out of the material. For example, if you work in 
scrap wood and it's separating the metal from the lower layer or from the bottom layer of the material and it keeps the metal on the roller till it leaves the magnetic zone then it falls down on this rubber slide and it guides the metal to the ground. You can work the system in addition with the overbelt magnet so that will take off the metal pieces out of the top layer from the material. That's the maximum effective way to separate metal out of the wood. To have, uh, you have the possibility as well to adjust the belt speed. So you can increase or decrease the speed to have more effect on separating metal out of your output material. As you see here, this is the completely in transport position folded discharge conveyor with the light beam fixed mounted. So that one moves up with the discharge conveyor in working position and comes back in the transport position and is directly ready for takeoff. No more work need to be carried out. As you see, the simply and compact folded conveyor is ending up really close to the last axle, what makes it really short in transport length, roughly just a bit more than 10 meters transport length. In summary, the BA926 has the maximum of 625 horsepower available and offers you with the twin gear system a flexible all-rounder for composting and chipping with a low in-feed tipping height and a big in-feed opening together with the GFA grinder feed assistant and the tool variety of especially the Easy Protect, gives you the maximum on flexibility and quality on your output.